Listen, I get it, you guys. I'm like a kid. You try and raise me, nurture me, give me everything that I need to succeed in life. And then I disappear. You'll go a few months, maybe not see, see me, hear me, anything like that. Then all of a sudden, I'm back. You'll have that sometimes. Let's uh, talk about something bigger and uh, Definitely much better. We got a pretty nice T880 here, you can see. Do the intro. Hey everyone, it's Josh with the Hisson Group, and yes, I've been a bit AWOL. For that, I apologize, but the reason why I've been missing, well, there's some good stuff. You remember how in February I took the new position? We've been doing some really cool stuff. And a big part of that is making us as an organization much more customer centric. We want to make sure that when you come in to one of our service departments, our sales department, parts, any one of them, that you're going to get top tier, knock your socks off type of service. Just wanted to let you know on that. And that's, it's really cool that some of the stuff that we're working on with that. In that, I realize that is probably not why you're here. This probably is. Normal fashion, I tell you what, I have not forgotten how to do this. It might be a little shorter today because I'm on uh, a bit of a time crunch. I wanted to make sure we got something ready for you. Some B-roll, let's talk about her. I came from the mud. Desert on my hands Strong like a tree There's roots where I stand Oh, I've been running from the law Try to catch me howling at the moon So this is a 2021 Kenworth T880. A lot of the same stuff that has made this truck so great over years is in this truck. There's a few other little tidbits and new things that we've got on this that are kind of cool that I just noticed since I've been climbing around on it. Now, in one thing, it does have the tow pin out front because this is going to do dump truck things and in some cases that involves a tow pin. Also, we've got the Kenworth wire mesh grill. It's there to protect all the expensive items right behind that. There is no point in letting a tiny little rock cause thousands of dollars worth of damage to everything behind it. That's why a couple extra bucks in a grill will make all the world in the difference. Now, this does have the hood mirrors on it. I know a lot of you guys aren't fans of those, and that's fine. They do look different. But I tell you what, from the driver's seat, to add that much more visibility and that much more safety, it's one of those things where I don't see how someone can drive a truck without them. It just makes sense. We've got Kenworth's composite reflector headlights on these. They do a great job of putting that light down the road where you need it. LED side markers here. Very low power usage, plus typically don't run into problems with them burning out. Because we've got the wide base tires up front here, we have rubber mud guards because there's nothing worse than flinging mud all over the side of this pretty sharp paint job. This is listed just as green on the key tag. I don't know exactly what paint coat it is, but this, once again, Kenworth has just, in so many of these colors, that perfect amount of metal flake that just looks phenomenal. The sun's catching it here. Absolutely love the way this paint looks. So let's go underneath that beautiful paint job and uh, work our way top down maybe, huh? With this, 
We've got a Packard MX-13 engine. This one, 510 horsepower, 1,850 foot-pounds of torque. That is plenty to motivate this truck down the road. What connects it to the driveline? This uses an RDS 4500 Allison transmission. That to me is just a great setup if you're looking to go fast, have control, and keep it still fuel efficient. As we work our way down through this, we've got 20,000 pound springs, 20,000 pound axle. Inside of the Alcoa Durabrite wheels, we've got disc brakes on this truck. This truck is meant to do the job, do the job right, and it's got those modern conveniences that make it so A, you can do it right, and B, you can do it a lot more efficiently. So you guys will have to pardon it if you can hear some of the wind or the road noise or anything like that. It's fall, it's Ohio, it's breezy. But the grass still matches the uh, truck here, so I'm happy at least for another month or so until it all turns brown. Nonetheless, if you notice back here, we've got a smooth side polished bed. So we needed to make sure that the DPF toolbox cover was polished also. In this, this truck only has a single exhaust. You guys have heard me comment on it before on all these 2.1 meter cabs, and especially even on the uh, narrower cabs uh, in the day cab configuration, Single exhaust is the only one that's hooked up. If you've got dual on it, it's just so that way you've got the showy piece over there. Nonetheless, at the top of it, someone installed what appears to be a chrome piece from a sewer system because it's a big one. So something about uh, future so bright, have to wear shades. I can once again see my hair is messed up in this. I'm okay with it, honest. Probably not, but nonetheless, this 21 six foot, meaning 22 foot essentially, all fab, smooth side aluminum bed. It's got a nice polish to it. These are super durable. They do a great job of holding heat in if you're hauling asphalt, just a nice bed. On top of it, another touch that I like that they've got with this one is they even match the top with the cab. Just another, another nice little added touch with that. We've got 13 two pusher axles on this with 22 and a half inch tires. Actually, the wheels are 22 and a half inch mainly. These are the Durabrite Evo wheels on here. Once again, soap and water cleans them up really, really nice. Between that, the bed, I did that wrong, didn't I? Between those, the bed, there's a lot of good looking shiny bits on this truck that aren't gonna be a pain to keep looking good. To me, that's, that's the biggest part of all about it. It's good to look good. It's much better to look good without having to put that much work into it. So in the back end here, what's holding everything up? Well, we've got Michelin rubber, 24 and a half, of course. Inside of that, we've got Bendix disc brakes. That's on both rear axles here. These are the D46172H rear axles. They both have 430 rear end gears here, which matches up really well with that Allison six-speed transmission that we talked about. Connecting this all to the chassis, we've got the HMX 460 suspension on this truck. Great suspension. We're actually finding that people are asking for this and the Chalmers about the same amount. In this, everyone's got really good things to say about both of them. For us, it's nice to have a couple of really good options good way to do things. Forgot to mention earlier, but Alcoa Durabrite wheels. Can you guys tell I'm rusty? I can too. I need, I need to start. Let's talk about some other stuff. The back end of the truck. You guys probably knew that already. There is a single coal chute back here. Um, once again, it's a nice setup. I also like how Allfab has this little deflector here to make sure that anything's knocked off in the back back there. Plus, their doors always seem to close the best and tightest. Um, in this, once again, it's the same as the sides in terms of how the tailgate's put together. I can do my hair in this also, what's left of it at least. Nonetheless, I like the beams of this. They, Allfab just does a nice job putting some of the polish on this. It just looks nice. You can kind of check your car as you're going down the road to see if it's dirty or not, or your truck, obviously, if you're following it. This is probably the section that's more for the cars. We've got this down here. Once again, it's a nice polished aluminum piece to make sure the back end of the truck's gonna look good. 
I also like how all fab in a lot of cases and other companies will do this too, but it looks nice when we've got the mud flaps all the way across the back, just to make sure that no road debris is gonna get kicked up and make anyone grumpy about their windshield. So I just had to flip the truck around so we've got the light over here, but I, there's two things that I wanted to talk to you guys about over on this side. First off, 110 gallon fuel tank. And with that fuel tank, this has three sets of straps to it, which is kind of cool. And they are the seven and a half inch wide strap. The wide polished straps, I think do such a nice job of just blending in with the tank. They don't stick out. They just, it smooths the look of the truck out. Now in that, with them being polished, we've obviously got this giant polished hunk of aluminum behind us. It goes pretty well with that too. Now, one of the other things that I want to talk about that's new for this year, and I think is a great addition, is this handle. Now this handle's been here for years, I get that. It's been an option, you can, you can always get, get it. It's got knurling in it now though. So whereas before it just had like the finger indentations on the back like a, some steering wheels do, this actually has a knurling on it. It was interesting, I'm down here in Columbus to take pictures of some of these trucks today. A lot of these are the 2021s. And as soon as I grabbed one of these handles, I'm like, wow, my hand is like stuck to it. And I looked and it's because of this knurling. Now we all know that probably the most common injury when it comes to a truck is a fall. None of us want to be hurt. This is something that's super simple that can mean such a difference really in your trucking career overall. Something to think about. So if this is your first time visiting the channel, I want to say thanks. Um, new, new viewers all the time, or you guys are what uh, help me along. In the same sense, if you've been a subscriber for a while, double thanks. I know it's been a little while. This video may not have been quite normal. It uh, might be a touch shorter but I wanted to make sure that I got something out for you guys. I, I definitely feel like I owe you guys that at least. In this, there's gonna be something coming up here soon. There is a huge announcement that we have coming up soon. Next year, we celebrate uh, 60 years in business. And uh, to me, us being around 60 years, it's something to celebrate. And we're gonna do it pretty big. So make sure that you stick around for that. Make sure you're subscribed. Thumbs up, thumbs down twice if you didn't like it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I will see you guys soon. Stay safe out there. Keep it rubber side down. Yep, catch you on the flip side. When the sun rises, when the sun